all right guys so we're going to be talking about some of the uh the strategy here that really has called in the top for bitcoin it, it's been very very lucrative overall bringing you a very nice seven to eight percent we're going to talk about zen we're going to talk about Paul Shane, uh, the resistance area that we were kind of looking at, uh, which so far has uh, really come to fruition of where, you know, you're going to be putting in that higher, um, um, lower high in terms of that, and then really starting a downtrending uh, market for uh, for Paul Shane, whether or not you're already in one, but uh, we're going to kind of take a look into it. But again, it's so far, it actually has brought in about 200% to the upside, which is uh, very nice overall. We're going to we're going to look at what I think will be the catalyst here going into next week really with the DXY uh which I think you know you got to have to keep an eye on it guys this this one I think is really starting to come to fruition you know we've been ranging in this key area for quite some time really boring people really boring traders out you know whether or not you've been very profitable playing these strategies on on crypto bros I've shown you some of these then you've been, you know, on the right side of things in terms of, you know, you're not wasting your time looking for Bitcoin really to break out where you can just play these smaller time frame strategies and, and you know, walk away with some capital overall. But let's go ahead and, and just quickly discuss this one. This one is basically the strategy 23 one on the 12 hourly. And the way you would go about it in terms of uh, entering the position, looking for these particular conditions to be met is you're using the range delta close below the yellow line which is a free indicator guys that you can actually get off of trading view and what you're looking for is you're looking for this i can actually uh candles to really close below the yellow line once you have that confirmation on this indicator then what you're looking for is for the macd to have the uh, emas to uh close above again the the midline and then you want this particular ema to turn from green to red once you have these two conditions met it gives you an entry conditions and once once that the case these are the statistical probabilities we're actually looking at in terms of the data set so if we can see here that this one from the downside brings you about 7.43 percent which is actually very good if you're taking the short side, short, 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 short side position of this, but yeah, so far we've actually seen about 8.32%. Uh, 8 but just to iterate this, uh, we did actually close this particular trade roughly around July of 24th because we we did see the the main average, and I did take uh, you know some profits off of this, looking maybe for an upside momentum retesting back to thirty thousand, which we did get here. Uh, but we you know we we started trailing even below that 30,000 key area but so far very nice you know reading in terms of the strategy you know we started breaking away from this ranging market acted as a bull trap and then now we are consolidating just below that ranging area so far we're seeing that price action is below the 55 and 21 ema so this is actually starting to put in downside pressure in terms of bitcoin but however overall this is actually a very nice strategy that could have been taken if you were basically following us here at crypto bros let's go ahead and just quickly talk about the dxy what i think is going to be the catalyst going into next week guys and that is the price action we're going to be seeing in terms of relating to the cpi data that's going to be coming out on august 10th so with with that being said the uh da this date is going to be very important because this is when the cpi data is going to be released inflation data if inflation comes out a lot higher guys this actually is going to spell very good for dxy the reason being is that what the tone that we gathered from the previous uh meeting from uh the fed is that Look, they haven't closed the door uh, in terms of raising the rates for the for uh, this particular year. So meaning there's still potential for another rate hike. And if there is another potential for another rate hike, then that means that risk on assets like Bitcoin are not going to do so well because the U.S. dollar is going to continue to uh, maybe gain more dominance overall in terms of the environment. 
So with that being said, we can see that maybe close to or leading into next week, we can see uh, which is around I think Thursday. Yeah, so around Thursday of next week that we can maybe come down to this particular area just around this particular support structure around 101 retesting it as support. We can see that multiple times this area has acted as support before really swinging up from there so we it happened just roughly around may of uh, 2022 it happened uh, on february of 2023 and it happened around may of 2023 as well too so this has been a very key pivotal area for uh, the dxy in terms of you know where buyers have been able to step in and really you know push off above that bounce from there so I expect the same thing to actually happen into this particular area, really forming this type of W pattern if, again, if interest rates, sorry, if the inflation rates come in a lot higher. Now, if inflation rates come in a lot lower and, uh, you know, as the, the Fed said or Jerome Powell said that they're going to continue to basically watch this, that I don't think they're going to be raising interest rates from there, right? two consecutive lower rate uh, lower cpi data spells very good because look no interest rates meaning risk on assets can actually start rolling up from there now there are other conditions that we are starting to see again on the two day in terms of the bitcoin chart we are starting to see that we are putting in again this, uh, on the stochastic bullish head and divergence meaning a continuation in the uptrend so if you actually zoom out on the bigger time frame we talked about this on the on the previous video is that we're going to continue to basically put in again the higher highs and then higher lows hopefully for a continuation above thirty thousand dollar area so uh yeah so if we can see here on the stochastic very low low reading we already did get the cross that we were looking for in terms of the stochastics here and we are uh pointing a bit sideways maybe hopefully ranging just a little bit uh in the next you know few days or so leading into next week and then maybe continuing on and upwards from there uh yeah so that's basically what's happening on the two day with bitcoin what the catalyst is gonna be you know just to watch out for next week i think will be very important just to keep an eye on in terms of the cpi data so let's go ahead and talk about the zen strategy overall i'm not gonna go too much into it i'm you know we've been repeating the same thing kind of over and over again but we can see again from these particular candles we are getting very close or close to the midline in particular to this now what i want to see is that this purple line really crosses the green line and that we come very close to trading uh close to it and with that being said, that can actually give me a very nice notion or confirmation that, hey, maybe Zen has reached the bottom here and is looking for a bounce from a swing low to a swing high to the 55 EMA. As you can see previously, every time this has acted as resistance. So 55 EMA, 55 EMA, and then 55 EMA here as well too, guys. And uh, I don't see why that wouldn't be the scenario once again. So with that being said, again, based off of this particular strategy using the range delta indicator there is still potential for downside risk again the average of this is roughly around 28 percent which just puts you close to the all-time lows for zen so this is the last line of support for the zenians guys that i think you know are gonna try to maintain overall for that next bounce and if that bounce can maybe lead into something a lot more than just a rejection from the 55 ema so again getting very close into that just giving you an update in particular to this so let's see what actually comes about it um let's just go into our post chain we talked about this on the previous video guys so with that being said you can see that this came very close to our particular resistance line just breaking above the 55 ema and is this going to be the actual downtrending market that we're going to see in terms of pulse chain now we did say look the sec going after richard hart uh and uh, paul shane and hex and all that good stuff this is going to take some time we i don't think we've seen the full complete bottom of these particular crypto assets so i think they might have still a long ways to go before you know go, going into this but if you really catch the bottom of this guys it's very hard to catch these bottoms especially when you you know you there's some really bad news and you're trying to really dollar cost average for the upside but if you did guys i mean this is about 244 percent upside guys so it's not too shabby 
not too bad guys in terms of this but again for us to really gain some momentum and not act as a lower high uh, in terms of this guys right here then we really need to get above this particular resistance line it was one support you can see since the exception of pulse chain really coming down regaining it acting as support for quite some time really really need to get above this key area guys we really need to get above this key area we can see on the four hourly we were overextended again looking maybe for that higher low uh again higher low right here guys so putting in a higher low into this particular area so higher low and then this is where that key pivotal moment comes into whether or not you really are starting a downtrend from here so with that being said i'm going to be waiting to see what actually happens if we can break above 724 area maybe get above that retest this particular resistance line and then hopefully getting above it from there but currently as we we see is that we are gathering a bit of a support structure just around the 21 ema hopefully that will give you another shot at this now we can see from the macd Again, you will continue to maybe go upwards and onwards as long as you're below 655 area, guys. So it's still potential, you know, holding the 21 EMA, staying above 655 area, I think will give you a good opportunity. Maybe retesting, you know, on and upwards from there. That's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Until next time, bros, as always, stay profitable.